Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Regulars. I'm Stacey McGonigal. My name is Jason DeRoss. And welcome. We are on time. I can't believe it. Pigs have flown and frozen and hell hath whatever it wants to do. It's its choice. We are here. We jumped over hump day, and now we figured everything out. So for the next two days, on time, shining. Well, we can't say every day, right? We take it day by day, and that's how we um, <laughs> that's how we survive. Yeah. Now, um, we are joined by one of our dearest, dearest friends today for the pod. I'm so freaking mm-hmm. excited. He has come in robe, and I can't wait to hear all of the things he wants to talk about. He's directed us. He's directed the main stage. He's written for uh, Working Moms. He is just an absolute goddamn delight. Everyone welcome Mr. Rob Baker. Yes. Woo! (laughs) (laughs) Oh my God. Rob, it's been it's finally we've gotten you on. Finally. Yeah. 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 I've been too busy (laughs) to get on until now. (laughs) I I want to tell you the brightness I have received when you joined our chat and you were in robe no undershirt <laughs> yeah it's the best and i mean that so I sincerely i dressed up in a button-up yesterday and it felt the worst so you know what i went back to a hoodie today because now the content will, stri- will will scream yes yeah i didn't know i didn't know which way to go it was either full suit or robe. Oh wow! Those. We should do another you, one where we go. Right yeah, we should do one though where we dress like so professional, and then when we all stand up at the end of the pod, none of us are wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs> because that's truly how I've been doing these podcasts live. I've been wearing a blouse, and then just like gross little hold. I I, were, I have a shared laundry, so I'm avoiding that as much as possible. Oh really? You know, yeah, me too. Go outside of my shared laundry. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Rob, so, so thank no you pants. so much for joining us. You are going to be talking to us about something I looked up. and you know the, like the last day like that they're going to be like, great, tomorrow's the day when everything is okay again. Right. But if it is that black and white and there's like a light switch, I think that's the day we all come in tuxedos and we'll have all the guests on as we possibly can. I'm going to stress Stacey <laughs> already. We're going to put so many people on this thing. <laughs> yeah. And we'll all come in tox tups. Tux tops. No, I want tox tops. Tox tops. Here's why I'm so excited to have Rob on on the pod today because Jason likes to take some walks, and I love just looking at Rob. Sometimes I'm going. (laughs) Yeah, we can still have our looks. We can still like have a little side glance. Just a little side glance where Jason goes. I guess I'll just walk into the ocean, never come back, and we're like. It's all flooding back for Jason. <laughs> yep. I got to go get a drink. Yeah. <laughs> Bullying. So what, uh, how have you been, uh, how have you been surviving yield quarantine? Oh, great question. Thank uh, you. What fuels me is yelling six feet at people <laughs> outside. Me too. <laughs> I'm like. I'm ready to build a machine that like swings things, like swings a thing around me. So I have like a <laughs> six foot radius. Yeah. So I, I yelled, I've yelled six feet at people so many times. Oh my God. Are you telling them yeah. to behave or are you telling them stay away or? <laughs> I like behave. Hey, behave. <laughs> behave. I was walking through a park a couple days ago. I um, mean, I thought, oh, I'll be the only one. And let me tell you, a lot of people playing soccer, ultimate frisbee, just like not listening. And I had half a mind, half a mind to, to scream at them to behave. Yeah. Playing a little germ ball. They are playing germ ball and I can't with it. Yeah. And I feel like they're the reason that Ontario is closed down the parks. You know, yeah. we can't have nice things. Can't have nice things. Yeah. They're stupid. Yeah. That done that. That's been uh, really good for me. Having a kid. He's having the best. this little, this ball of joy mm-hmm. around is fantastic. He's so lovely. Um, uh, when I yelled at a jogger six feet and the jogger yelled at me, get a grip, which was like, I couldn't believe it. Whoa. Theo was like, yeah, dad, maybe you should get a grip. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was like, too much. <laughs> 
That must be nice now having a, a kid who can reasonably tell you that you're being irrational and you can't argue <laughs> back to them. Like that's my fear of having a child is that one day they're going to be like, pump the brakes. And I'm going to go, okay. <laughs> like they're right. Yeah. That's going to be for Stacey. That's going to be day one. It's going to pop. I'm going to be like, okay, a little much yelling. A little much yelling. <laughs> that might you be got the drugs. <laughs> Chill out. You're you're not. You're fine, dude. You didn't feel anything. You can't even feel your legs, girl. <laughs> Pump the brake. How about for me? I'm just I'm experiencing everything for the first time right now. So like, let's chill out. Who's got it worse? <laughs> Who's got it worse? I'm for sure getting you a onesie, a onesie for the baby that says "Mommy, a little a little much yelling." A little much yelling. <laughs> Mommy, a little much yelling. I can't. Um, we were talking yesterday about um, all the things that we're enjoying, all the like podcasts and um, things. And um, my question to both of you is I'm also seeing people kind of like taking shots at people who are creating stuff and going live and doing streams and being like, just trying their best. what? People are just trying their best. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, too much yelling <laughs> or much yelling, mommy. Um, but yeah, how are you it. liking? How are you liking all the streams and stuff? I just watched uh, Dan Gallia do his talk show last night, and I was laughing mm. so hard on Instagram. Everyone should follow Dan Gallia. But how are you sitting on all of that? Uh, I love it. I mm. love like it. Re- there are no rules now. It's like whatever makes you happy and whatever gets you through it. Totally. Is- all that really matters, really. And Dan Gallia's a, a star. I love his show. He's so good. I've always loved the DG special live. It's a good, good show. It's so great. And I'm also just wondering, like, because this is, uh, yesterday we were told by our mayor down here that uh, we're now on lockdown till May, more than likely, and probably what? even longer. So like, Yeah, so it's going to go on. So I'm also wondering, like, you know how like at the end of Fight Club, they're just like, like, let's get rid of everything and we'll start from the beginning. I feel like there's going to be a bit of that in art, too. So it's like it's going to be interesting what, to see what comes out on the other side of this when like the sun comes up that day again. when We're like, whoa, we're back to the world. <laughs> but what's the world now? Well, that's the every thing. script and every TV show. Everything's. Oh, yeah. Dead now. Everything. Yes. You know, you look you look at a script. You're like, ah, they meet in a coffee shop. It's like, no, they don't. No, no one they meets don't. in a coffee shop. Yeah. There's no meeting in coffee shops. And there's so Never. many people writing right now. And all next year, every pilot's going to be like, "So we're we're we can only talk through screens." And yeah, we're <laughs> on be we're on Zoom, and uh, everything's <laughs> done on Zoom. Okay, now, uh, yeah, no, it is kind of crazy, and we're all live performers, and that's my concern too. It's like, well, th- the thing that we loved, it's like the to ask people to like congregate, it'll take a long time to build that trust again. And that's like so spooky to me, you know? Yeah. 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 Oh, I miss being in front of an audience so much. Mm-hmm. And like that, that give that gave me everything. And as soon as it started, totally. I was like, I knew it. Cause I'm like so much of my self worth and so much of my joy is being on stage in front yeah. of a crowd and making mm-hmm. them howl. And that's all gone now. And I, all totally. I have is an 11 year old who tells me to get a grip. <laughs> you're, you're the one making Theo sit down and you're doing a show for him. <laughs> I've been yeah. working on this all day. Your mom helped direct. So just sit down and watch me do this. <laughs> I've been finding that I'm going into weird YouTube holes. Like I watched a lot of um, architectural digest, like going into celebrities homes and like, and just yeah it's is is architectural digest just a fancy way of saying mtv cribs <laughs> <laughs> honestly yeah yes it is yeah it is <laughs> mm-hmm. we're getting a lot of stuff on the feed that's really fun and snake king again is uh we may, we're on the same page nice shirt sriracha shirt yeah, everyone's loving the robe though. This has really taken our chat by storm. <laughs> Everyone wants yeah. to be in robe, wants to purchase a robe. Um, there's a, and a uh, big shout out to Shayla who started with uh, rods are in the pond. So so yesterday, Jason kept saying he's got a lot of rods in the pods. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what does Put that it on mean, a shirt, baby? 
Um, well, it, we had Nigel on, um, and this is where Jason started, the crack started to really show, where basically he wasn't making any sense. And then yesterday he was barely saying any sense. words. And then he said he's putting a lot of rods in the pods, which meant he meant pond. <laughs> pond. And even then, is it rods in the pond? I don't even think that's a saying. It's irons yeah. in the fire. What's the uh, other one? Rods in the ponds. <laughs> rods in the pods. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny Cirillo, Days One Gone Wild, man. As fish, and I'm going to find him. <laughs> and to catch it you feels up. Like, feel smart. Like you could put all your rods in one pond. Right. But there's only no. so many fish in that pond. Yeah. Yeah. There's only so many fish in the pond. So you got to put, you got to spread it out and make sure you don't keep all your rods in you one gotta pond. You got to buy 100 rods. And you got to put them in some pods, baby. Just screw the pond, get them in the pods. Right. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I went back to this. <laughs> But I'm loving Jenny Swirlo, who has been with us since pretty much the get go. Mm -hmm. Days gone wild, man. <laughs> it truly, it truly and utterly feels that way. It does. I've been, um, you're also a really good cook, Rob. So what have you, what's the most elaborate meal you've made so far? And realize that two sandwiches is listening. So yeah. you've got a, a harsh critic. Two little sandwiches. <sighs> Uh, yeah. So there's two little sandwiches is there. So I'm not going to bring up uh, my recipe for ribs Oof. because... It takes a couple hours to get through the just the story of where the recipe came from. So I'll leave that behind for now. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly, I've been making lots of salads. Whoa, that's because, great. Because, like, yeah, salads I feel like are the best for me right now. I don't know why vinegar vinegary stuff mm -hmm. is making me is making is giving me joy in life. So like pickles mm -hmm. and like salads, like red wine vinaigrette salads Yum. are really really good. Uh, the most elaborate meal I made. I made a, uh, when I was like, we do one shopping a week. I don't know what you all are like. But I've, we do one I've shifted shop. to that now. Yeah. One shop. So on the, on the day one of the shop, I bought fish mm. and I made like a curried, like tilapia over potatoes and cauliflower. That was really good. Whoa. Yeah. That yeah. sounds great. That was my favorite. That was like, my I love water. potatoes so much. Me too. And they're so comforting to me. And that was, mm. that was number one. My mouth is salivating at the thought of that. Um, yeah. I just started watching Alison Roman, who I really adore, and I love her so much. Love her. Oh, you do too? Love oh, her. she's yeah, the best. Yeah. And so I watched a bunch of her videos yesterday, and she made these. I have all these chicken thighs, and I don't know what to do with them. And she did them with, like, a quick pickled red onion and um, olives, and I'm getting into that. Jason, you'll like that. <laughs> I, like that. I, like that. I wish I had a robe to, to go, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah, killing it. <laughs> oh, Christmas has arrived. New I, sound effects. I've added some new sound effects. Um. Um, I'll say this. You know what I would like? Caitlin has put out there that she's making a jalapeno chip crusted tuna casserole. Tonight. Holy. And I'm like, I'm in. Hubba. Yeah, that sounds. Yeah. Rob actually sent me in a recipe once that I still haven't been able to do because I don't have a cast iron skillet. This right. was six years ago. <laughs> I don't have a cast iron skillet. A cast you iron? Six years. Well, there's no cast iron skillets now. No, they're gone. It's still sitting in my inbox and I keep marking it as unread so it'll stay right there so I have it because uh, I don't file things very well. But it's for, um, do you like Pizza Hut pizza? Because Rob Baker can make Pizza Hut pizza How? at his house. Well, I'll send you the recipe. I've got it. Well, I have a cast iron skillet because they're $14. It's like such an easy thing to purchase. Yeah. And then I go to purchase it, but then I'm like, well, I could just order a pizza from pizza for 14 bucks. Okay. This day is good. I feel like I'm really happy that we started talking about food because it's really opened up in the chat. Um, I don't know if you can see the chat at all, Rob, but we'll tell you it if you want to check it out. But um, someone says they're currently making, uh, mm. Courtney says she's making an Irish soda bread and espresso chocolate banana bread. What the heck? And I'm fully into all of that yeah wow people listening to the podcast are just going to hear us going <laughs> just the sound of us yeah. just collecting all of our spit just like um uh, uh, yeah the pizza hut pizza recipe is another great internet uh food person named uh j kenji Lopo lopez alt Whoa. and he wrote a he wrote a book called the the food the f the, f the food lab and he's online and he's, he's done a bunch of different uh, pizza doughs that you can prepare. Oh. Some of them take like six or three or four days to ferment a little bit Whoa. and kind of rise. This one you just do overnight. So you just like, it takes five minutes to pour like three ingredients in a bowl, let it sit overnight. 
and then get it into the pan and get it oily and put whatever you want on it. And it's fantastic. What I yeah. thought you were going to say he did was he has recipes for all the fast food joints. And I was like, that's a cookbook I want. Every fast food joint. And it's like, this is how you make a Whopper. And this is how you make oh, a yeah. Big Mac. I'd be into that. Yeah, just all the hamburgers. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I miss hamburgers so much. Hamburgers are so good. I actually would really, I'm really bummed because like now it's getting nicer out. Not bummed, but like. It's getting nicer out, and now my backyard is like usable. And now I'm like, I wish I had just like preemptively bought a barbecue and lived around the barbecue for a while, so then mm. I could push it out my little backyard. But and well, Stacey, you're right. This chat is going nuts. Almost like everyone's standing around a barbecue. Uh, <laughs> yeah, killing it. What I wanted to get though at is yesterday on the chat for the first time, everybody was getting a little boozy. And there was some ladies on there they talking were. about like meeting up after. And I, we don't know if they knew each other prior to this. I think so some of them did, yeah. I'd love to hear like, how did your hangout go? This are is, we bringing people, are we making this world a better place? This is what I love about Jason so much is like he loves getting in on the juice. And like he is the one, <laughs> you know, on, um, yeah. You, I love when you're like, what's going on, ladies? We having a little meetup? <laughs> we're having some bevies? Invite Jason. He'll join. <laughs> invite the juice invite the juice yeah. that's jason's new name invite the juice <laughs> i can do some homemade jalapeno poppers anybody in <laughs> <laughs> it's my like one recipe to bring to parties so you guys want these uh homemade jalapenos i've never <laughs> i've never had the jalapeno i believe it's jalapeno but we won't <laughs> i won't it's jalapeno oh my god <laughs> this shirt is getting so long Oh, Jason wants to do a shirt um, where he uh, that people can get where it's just all the words he can't say. <laughs> this this was somebody yesterday asking for that. This wasn't my want. Right. Just point out all my shortcomings because yeah. I have that all the time in the, my mind. Malk. Malk. Yep. Bagel. Yeah. Yesterday he was Popeyes. rocking a a Printable. <laughs> kept saying that was you that did he kept printable. saying no. You said Printable. <laughs> J what the J hell is Printable? He was saying principal, but he kept saying Printable. No. <laughs> and yet, That's Jason, not true. there's video I, proof. You need to listen to this one back. I said it first, but it was like a, obviously like a stutter. It yeah. wasn't that I said the word principal, like Printable. But then we got into Vike Printable office. <laughs> <laughs> well, Baker, you, you missed some magic, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I, I caught Potato Dave. Oh, Potato Hell Dave. Yeah. So, oh yeah. Some people were saying like, "Hey, could you make shirts?" And I was like, "I am not making a. Sh I would happily make a shirt that says Potato Dave, but Nigel has to release Black Ron. That can't be something on our store. <laughs> that. <laughs> but but Nigel said he is making a graphic, so I'm holding him to it, so he can give us a Potato Dave and Black Ron D and D. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be amazing. Um. Do you have the, any dumb stories, Jay? Team. The call to sex team yet. Do you have any dumb stories before we get into why we have uh, brought our guest on to chat? I'm loving this look, by the way. It has evolved, Baker, in a way that I am <laughs> loving. <laughs> uh, um, yesterday, um, yeah, so today I have a bunch, and this is what I was like. Now We can play the... To give context, okay, so Baker, yesterday we were talking about Jason's dumb stories and we realized that the basis of all of them is pranks. He loves a prank. Oh, which is, again, not not a truth, but okay. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jason, let's get into the dumb stories. <laughs> I, but I will preface it as well. So yesterday they, we, we had someone on the thing pointed out that there was a man that chased someone down the street for turning his music, not turning his music down with a samurai sword, which is a great story. Great story. And I found it after. I was like, it's great. It's awesome. <laughs> and then Stacy's like, why are the people doing better than you? And I'm like, I just, in the last week I've brought you pigs fart down. Uh, they burn down a farm. A full farm. So great. Full farm. Yeah. Uh, like all these dumb stories. But so I was like, great. Well, today then... We, we used to do a thing called like, um, I can't remember what it's but like, let's stop here or whatever. So I've got a list of stories. Oh, and we'll and if decide. if you like it, we'll talk about it. So I'll just read the headline and then you can say, ding, this is my stop. If you want to talk about this dumb story. So the rule is, I guess, Baker, you have to say, ding, that's my stop. 
<laughs> you say that like that used to be a segment we used to do, no, and you're I saying know. like I've just come up with this and I, it's a terrible. I, one. I remember that segment. I, I love know. that segment. Ding, that's Thank my stop. You. But it's just and also, <laughs> Go ahead. ding, it's my stop already because I've been chased with a samurai sword before. Ding, that's my stop. What? <laughs> yeah, that's this. We just Dirty pulled into a futuristic stop. station. Let's see this. <laughs> please please <laughs> oh man it was i was a teenager i went to a party on the west side of vancouver which is Whoa. everyone knows is the rich part of town hell yeah and so we went across there and we were at a party and it's packed and it's all rich people everyone's really good looking and then all of a sudden someone screams and dad has walked in the door Whoa. like dad has come home to the party and the party stops but then he goes upstairs and we're like Oh, okay. okay. I guess it's okay. Cool dad. Then he comes back down and he's got a samurai sword. No. And it was the scariest fucking thing. Like every sorry, I'm swearing. It was oh, you could like, swear. People like jumping through windows. <laughs> like I, I got into the backyard and leapt like into a bush. I, I probably should have died first. <laughs> and just like teenagers running everywhere and a middle-aged man with a samurai sword just chasing kids down west 41st i love this fantastic yeah Whoa. from the perspective of that guy like he obviously wasn't expected home which means he was out doing something nice something went wrong he's like <laughs> god damn it i guess this date's not going very well and then he goes home and there's all these kids in his house he's already like that's it i'm getting the goddamn sword <laughs> <laughs> the sword that ruined Very my calmly marriage he walks up yeah. the stairs but in his mind he's broken yeah the sword that yeah, made my wife leave yeah oh, you broke him <laughs> You ever break you a broke samurai? <laughs> yeah. Gina broke him. Gina was, she thought Gina was the one, but she dumped him that night. He comes home. He pulls out his ponytail from behind his collared shirt. <laughs> he grabs his samurai sword and he goes, not today, you pieces of shit. Yeah. Slowly undresses, puts on a, a robe. <laughs> Loose apartment slippers that make it tough to Baker, run. Baker, you're one more take it easy dad from pulling out a samurai sword. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Theo's just at the get party grip, telling you to pump your brakes. Yeah, get a grip. Yeah. Okay. Grip that is amazing. Right. Well, I'm glad that we got All off right. at that stop. Let's get into it. Yeah. Okay. Ding. That's my stop. Great. Um, story number one uh, Christmas lights are back. People try to brighten spirits over a coronavirus, and people are throwing up Christmas lights all over the place. Yeah, that's just a statement <laughs> for me. That's a statement. <laughs> I also thought, though, that it's like... The robe has been tied up. He hates it. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can move past it. I just thought it was Please. a good Potato Dave story because it's like this guy, one of the heroes of the street is just a guy that forgot to take his Christmas lights down. He goes, oh, I used to flick the switch, I guess. And then, great. Now I'm making everyone happy. Okay. Uh, then, love this. This is going to be such a good day. Uh <laughs> Uh, a Missouri dirty. woman collects $3 million 18 years after her first lottery win. Nope. Okay. Well, I have a, <laughs> I have a logistical question. Like why'd she wait? Well, this is why I kept this story because I had a couple questions. One in the headline, you'll, if you think about it, it says first lottery win, which means she's collected a lottery win since this as well, See, which is kind of weird. That reminds me of when I uh, quit. Um, wh when I worked at that bookstore and I quit and I said I would dedicate my first Oscar to them while I slammed the door and that implied I'd have to win multiple because the first one was dedicated to them. <laughs> How many have you dedicated since then? Oh my God. If you consider like shits in a toilet bowl as Oscars, tons. <laughs> Every time Stacey quits, she has to remember where she is in the number. I'm going to dedicate my fourth Oscar to you. <laughs> I gotta keep. I gotta stop getting fired, babies. I, I, I got too many things. I gotta win sixty-eight o fucking Oscars right now. <laughs> I honestly realize I just have the face of someone who's been fired a bunch. <laughs> like, that's just how my many class. times have you been fired in your life? I have been fired, um, maybe three times. Yeah, I think yeah. I know all three. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, it was a uh, doggy daycare. Dog walking. Dog walking, which was tough because that was such a good job. But they wanted me to be like in the front, like the flirty girl. And I was like, get me in the back with the dogs. Uh, so I got fired from that. And I did go like, I basically had to fuck you. Fuck you. You're getting fired. I'm getting fired. I just lit the place on fire as I left. Um, bookstore. You, you tried to fire everybody else? Well, they, they were... <laughs> If I could have, oh my God. No, they, they fired me from the dog store. Um, and uh, they were like, don't worry, we're letting other people off. Like, we're, we're, le- we're letting them go. I'm like, who? And then um, I told them as I was leaving. <laughs> well, we can't tell you legally before we tell them. No, no, no. Who? <laughs> no, who? I think I'll go tell them. Yeah. I'll go tell them right now. Yeah. I think you'll name some names. And then they did. And I was like, and you're going? And you too. I guess you still got to work. <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh, yeah. why did we tell her? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was pretty great. Okay, um, we totally should have done the call her at home and say, don't come in today. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It's, I wouldn't have gone out in such a fury if, it, um, if they hadn't made me work a full shift and then fired me at the end. That's the worst. Like when you get fired on a Friday. Totally. It's like I could have been like wasted at 9 a.m. Had I known on a Thursday night. You know, I can't. Uh, Okay, next story. I'd appreciate a Friday one because then it gives me. Yeah, if they're going to fire you on a Friday, like fire you on a Friday, like at 11 a.m. Yeah. So you can still like have a bit of a day. You're already up. Go to the mall or something. Yeah. (laughs) Get your shopping done. (laughs) <laughs> a Friday, and you know that everybody in there just got fired. Oh, yeah. totally. That's the vibe. I remember when I got fired from the bookstore. I just was stealing everything because I was like, "Oh, this will be used when I'm a sketch when I'm successful at sketch." <laughs> and I was like, "Name tag, vest." <laughs> Sitting at Young and Dundas for an hour, going, you "What were did I just do?" Grabbing things for your tickle trunk. <laughs> yeah, my tickle trunk, and I kept going, "This for my tickle trunk, and this is for my tickle trunk." <laughs> Tickle, tickle, bitch. <laughs> I don't think we could put tickle, tickle, bitch on a shirt, but I'd wear it. Oh, yeah, killing it. <laughs> tickle, tickle, bitch. Picking up your son from daycare. Hello. Oh, this? It's from a live stream I do with my friends. One of them wears a robe. <laughs> uh, many years ago, Two Little Sandwiches, Jan, oh. bought me a t-shirt quoting my favorite movie, which is The Jerk with Steve Martin. Oh, love The Jerk. But it said, yeah. But on the, the t-shirt said, I was born a poor black child. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Just hearing Jason say, damn it. Oh damn it! <laughs> oh, because the problem is like this isn't the same at all. But like, um, you're, the, if this was a bunch of years ago, it means Theo would have been much younger. So you would have had to go pick him up from school or something, and warn by accident. Because I've done this where I picked up Charlie, and then in the classroom realized I shouldn't be wearing this shirt. Oh, this tickle tickle bitch. <laughs> Well, I have a sweater that I wore because when we were writing our show, I bought the sweater because I was playing that mom and it says, I hate you all on it. And then um, I was like, oh, well, we don't need it. It's too much. And it's just a perfect little apartment sweater. Now, how many times have I picked up food yesterday? Did I Uber Eats ice cream? Did I have the sweater on? Yes, I, I, I hate you all. On stories. Yeah. So I get it. I hate you all. But it's just a perfect sweater. I can't. I can't. I can't and I shan't. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, that made me laugh so hard. Oh. Jason, your next dumb story. Um, well, to get through this one, too, I'm also like, uh, this story to me isn't allegedly, allegedly, although it seems to all ring true, but like, is there not like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? But Principal. when a certain time has passed, Principal. it's no it's no longer, <laughs> tickle, it's no tickle, longer available to you, right? What? What? It's when a certain time has passed, it should no longer be available to you. Expired. Uh, what's Expired. Co- what's, I was thinking about, you know, the, the term when it's like, oh, uh, in court, they're like, oh, you can't after whatever. Oh, many after years. seven years, the, uh, oh, God damn it. See? Jeopardy? I'm infecting all of you. Double Jeopardy? 
What's that? The limitations. Uh, statute of limitations. Statute of limitations. There yeah, like, what's the statute of limitations on a lottery ticket? I thought it was like only like a year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> This is going to be perfect for our, our, our actual podcast. When all of a sudden it's just like everything stops. <laughs> uh, okay. Wonderful. What is the story? Anyways, great. <laughs> uh, no story. The next one is from Toronto. Do you, and I'm sure you guys saw this as well. Very broadcasty. This one's but you from guys saw this, right? When, when the, whatever creek it was turned completely red, like blood red. What? I didn't read about this. Yeah. Uh, in Etobicoke, uh, whatever, the, I can't remember the name of the creek, but the big creek there turned blood red because they, a factory dumped all its red ink into the water or oh something. Oh my gosh. So Damn like it. during the coronavirus, imagine going on a hike and then being like, oh God, the river's of blood. <laughs> I love how Venice gets clear waters and Ontario gets freaking blood red <laughs> rivers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can see the sharks in Venice. You can also see like the, the blood running through the cities in <laughs> Toronto. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, great. No, I don't want to ding here. <laughs> That's okay. That's the whole story. Uh, <laughs> this is a good one. Um, there was an Italian police priest. And now I'm going to get that. <laughs> There was an Italian priest who accidentally live streamed his mass with Facebook filters active. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, I've only got the one screenshot right now, but he definitely has sunglasses and a weird wig on as he's <laughs> giving his sermon. I just found out that I can do that with my camera. I'm trying to set this up, but I I realized I can put effects on. I was just trying to do it, but I can't. I can't find the program. <laughs> yeah, it was very. Baker searching for it. He's figuring it out. Oh, we're all trying. We're all just trying to get the bit going. We're like, how do we get the bit? How do we get the bit? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, I, I love it? Yes, you got it. You got it, it Bobby. You got it. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. I'm see I'm getting this is this is where like the the chat is going to murder me by <laughs> I'm going to I'm just going to fall over. <laughs> Cuz now everybody's piling on. Yes, I said please. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's so funny oh, to me. Oh no! Oh my gosh, you guys! I can't see the chat. Oh, can, are you watching? You have to go to the YouTube, the live stream. Oh, YouTube. Yeah, live stream. I've got a different camera on. I just realized I can put wigs on myself, and I am loving it. This is an. Can I speak to the manager? Wig. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can. So it's just your normal hair. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Okay. Um, that's actually really funny. Funny enough, when I was trying to learn how to live stream, um, a lot of the videos were from people who did like sermons. And so I was just, as a person who's not uh, religious in any capacity, I did find it quite funny where it was like a, a pastor was teaching me about technology. <laughs> Anyways. Um, what's your next story? Um, I'll tell you what, I'll do one more because we're also like, I want to make sure that we get to Rob's um, topic so we can talk about that a little bit. Oh, we got time, uh, girl. We got time. The last one is for me today is that there was a French athlete who ran an entire marathon on oh, his apartment balcony. I saw that. Okay, ding, that's my stop. I'll ding here. Yeah, please. Did you see this, oh. Rob? Did you What's see that? It? There was a guy who just basically, didn't he run in this, uh, on, on the spot? It looks like it. Um, a French athlete whose racing plans were foiled by the coronavirus pandemic held his own marathon on his 23 foot long balcony. Whoa. Uh, yeah, the Barcelona marathon was canceled. So he was like, fuck this, I'm still doing it. Um, it took him six hours and 48 minutes. I just imagine dating well, him and. Um, that's a that's a bad time for him. And being marathon. like, where's Dave? Oh, he's on the balcony trying to prove a point. <laughs> like, I'd be like, go outside. Run solo, six feet. Go run the marathon, please. But 
His well, his response was, but there's no like, excuses. The, and I was like, I think I've got a few excuses. And <laughs> get off the balcony. <laughs> That's so annoying. Does he run on the spot or does he run back chat. and forth? Yeah, what's, what was he? Did he have a treadmill or something? What was he doing? <laughs> this is Jason. Uh, he says, I think he was going back and forth. I think he was going back and forth, so he measured it out. So he was like, so for sure that's going to slow him down. But if you were on the news, <laughs> this guy's run in the past. He's already run. Oh, my God. Um, I can't remember. 36 marathons. So this is his 37th marathon. Does he need it? So it's like, but but what I'm getting at is like, if you're going, great, this is the one that I'm going to, He's he must have given it to the news. Like, it's not like somebody was just like, oh, look at that guy on his balcony. Let's cover that story. No. He must have sent this in. I bet you the neighbors called the cops because they heard thudding <laughs> for 12 hours. Someone's losing his fucking mind up there. They go up there and he goes, and he answers, he goes, bonjour, mes amis. I'm running a marathon. And they were like, well. This is the dumbest thing we've ever heard. So let's get this to the news. So, but it also took him almost seven hours. And if, and I might be wrong, but I think at six hours, don't they close start, start to close down the streets or whatever in an actual marathon? Because they're like, cool, this is just like the the people that are walking it. <laughs> this, essentially, this might this sound point. crazy to hear, but I don't think the marathon he was running was regulation. <laughs> Jason, are you saying that they shut down the balcony before he was done yeah. running? His wife was like, that's it, six hours. I could also done. see Jason being... No, I'm going to do this. I could see Jason His being the neighbor. Bleeding. He's like, oh. I could just see Jason being the neighbor going, okay, that's it. That's it. You would have been canceled now. You would have been canceled six now. Hours. <laughs> six hours. Six hours, Henri. How many tables of How many tables of Gatorade did he have set up? <laughs> His wife and kids have to come in yeah, and splash his wife him. Was very into it. <laughs> yeah, she had to run a lot. She, had... <laughs> she gets like, out the uh. bell and just starts dinging, ding, 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 ding. Go, 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 go. <laughs> She's giving him those packets of peanut butter. He's just like... <laughs> <laughs> just like waiting there for seven hours with the tinfoil blanket. <laughs> She has to run with him to catch up to his pace to just give him the drinks. And she's like, oh, my God. <laughs> That's so stupid. I love it so much. Uh, he spent days, like, getting the number printed. Drawing it all in. All the accoutrement. Yeah. He made his wife. fucking up. I got to get my goddamn number. He Paper makes... jam. Jesus Christ, I just want to run a marathon. Jesus Christ, I'm just trying to get the balcony marathon on its feet. <laughs> We're out of ink. We're out of ink, Diane. <laughs> Diane has to get up at 6 a.m. at the kitchen table and like set up the check-in. She's like, oh my God. <laughs> Afterwards, she gets to give him a medal. <laughs> oh, yeah. A press Except conference. she's like, I don't know, six hours and 48 minutes. Here's a participation ribbon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he goes to bed so yeah. upset. <laughs> Yeah, we need the shot of the last person crossing the line of the balcony marathon. That's what this is. It's a photo finish. <laughs> do you think she had like? Do you think she had a siren behind him? Because you know, don't they have the sirens like the cars behind the, the slowest people? <laughs> Okay, I have to say, this is my favorite comment so far. Shauna just goes, I love how this just keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, now yeah. I, this is a, it's turned into burns on me too. Jason is the guy golfing across the street, aiming at the guy running a marathon. <laughs> Although you're not wrong. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. All right, Henri. Yeah, you can run a marathon on your balcony, but I've got 18 holes on my balcony, okay? <laughs> your little mini putt. God damn it. Ah, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Jason. And now they're all like, great. Everyone in the chat, Rob, so you know, they're saying, well, they're all cracking. Everybody's gone full nuts. And this is what it is. This isn't just the... This is an, a social experiment, our live stream, as we've slowly <laughs> broken down as days go on. <laughs> and this is where we're at. <laughs> I'm loving it. I wouldn't I wouldn't take it back for anything. Um, so I guess we can shift gears because I don't know if we can top that amazing dumpster. And I'm proud of you, Jason. I'm proud of you. I worked hard. <laughs> yeah, that was fantastic. I mean, we didn't even get to the nursing home residents playing life-size hungry hippos, which <laughs> is an amazing video. <laughs> <I've>... <laughs> what? Whoa. What? There's a nursing home where they've got like, um, like, 
balls that are like you know like this big or whatever those plastic balls that you would see in like a ball pit in a Chuck E. Cheese or something okay. and, and they're on the middle of the floor mouth. and then there's four people four of the ladies are in wheelchairs just outside kitty corner from each other and then if someone pushes them in and they've got a like a mop with a box on the end of it and they go whoop whoop and they try to collect the balls like they're a big hungry hippo board game does that make sense no it, it Stacy looks no it's tra it tracks it it may, I just <laughs> that is some that's like a social like director who's like ah uh, uh, I don't know <laughs> I'm out of ideas here <laughs> <laughs> they're bored <laughs> um this mop and bucket I also know it didn't go too well because they just show like one push in with a video and it one lady already loses her box off the end of her mop and she's just like ah. <laughs> <laughs> like that's the clip they used is it didn't work it's sort of just a woman never going fully worked. Um, just imagine calling my grandmother going like, how'd it go? Like, how, how's today? Oh, we played, you know, Hungry Hungry Hippos. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, you got the board game? No. No, no. They rolled no. me They rolled me into the middle of a circle with four other ladies, my friends, and gave us a mop and a bucket and told us to have at it. <laughs> <laughs> Linda's mop broke, but that's classic Linda. <laughs> <laughs> Making it all about her, you know. <laughs> She's stealing from me. So. We all lived through the Second World War, but this is what we this is what we imagined. This is what <laughs> life would be. This is the golden years. I could tell my <laughs> younger self, just struggling to survive, that one day she'd be pushed into the middle of a room to pick up a stray ball with a mop and bucket. Well, <laughs> I did it. Um, so I do want to shift gears a bit because I want to talk about um, Stardew Valley, which I just found out about yesterday, and now I'm obsessed. So. This is like another activity if you're looking for something to do. Have you just gotten into this, Rob? First of all. I've been into it for like three months now. Whoa. Whoa. Um, I learned about it uh, through Kyle Dooley and uh, Shane McLean. Okay. Uh, a couple of buds. A couple of buds told me about it because I was like, I'm not a big video game guy. Yeah. And I used to play uh, like... There's some apocalypse game I used to play, but then it started just making me sad. Oh, is that Domination and... or what's it called? <clears throat> Not Domination or what? Yeah. Anyways, sorry. I've taken you off course. Go on. Yeah, I forget. And I was like, I need something that's not, I need something that's calming and f and like joyful and positive. And Stardew Valley is all of that. It's the best game. It's like you just get your grandpa dies, sad start. It always but is. But he leaves you his he leaves every you his Disney farm. Movie. That's every, every Disney, Disney movie. movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Every Disney movie the grandpa dies? Yeah. <laughs> Up. I just watched Paddington Bear that, you know, that's kind of similar too. Anyways, yeah. continue on. The grandpa specific the grandpa specifically does not die in Up until maybe at the end. I don't remember the end. <laughs> Jace, this no. is Jason's mentality. He goes, "Well, he's kicking the bucket soon. <laughs> he's gone." <laughs> He's dead anyway. <laughs> in every Disney movie, though, like some parent parental kind of passes away to start the journey for most of them. Yeah, yeah, huge on orphans. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, and you inherit his dumpy little farm, and you just over time you plant vegetables and fruits, you raise animals. That's nice. Uh, you you can talk to people in the town, or even better. You can ignore the fuck out of everybody because you don't really want to talk to anybody. Wow. You know? Yeah. 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 In you this can... game, is are the other people, other live people playing the game as well? Like, you is can. it interactive, multiplayer? You can, you can, but I don't like that. I don't like mm -hmm. talking to real people on video games. It freaks me out too much. Yeah. I'm, I get simple, it. I'm a simple man. Now, is it, do you need a system or is it a um, computer game? It, I don't know. It might be a computer game. I played on an Xbox, but Ooh. it was like $10. You know, it's cheap. Yeah. It's like 8-bit. It's not even fancy. There's a wizard. Yeah. I'm getting it. I'm moving in next to you. Whether you uh, have it or you say it or not. Whether there's no multiplayer, I'm moving in next to you. And come I'm in next it. to me. I'm I'm making ancient wines right now. Really? Uh, yeah. It's great. I, I built a uh I built a a, a a cellar, a wine cellar where I'm aging all my wines. That's amazing. It's really good. Yeah. So this is Baker just living his best life. Yeah. It's really, and it's like, what's best about it? It's just calming. You can't die. You can oh, get tired. Nice. And so you, you go know, to sleep. Like you, can, you go to, and sometimes you go to sleep outside and then you get robbed. So oh, don't no. fall asleep outside, you know, but you don't die. You just wake up in the, in the, uh, the hospital. And he's like, 
hey, be more careful. And <laughs> I charge you a thousand dollars to a to life make lesson. You feel better. Oh, oh wow. so yeah. like healthcare. It's not socialized healthcare. <laughs> there's, there's some there's some drawbacks to it. Definitely the infrastructure. I would say the infrastructure of Stardew Valley isn't where we would want it to be. Of course, but we have to start somewhere. We have to start somewhere, and that's the point. Because that's the thing with for me, like I um. I can't like I've been struggling to get into video games just because it's like sometimes it's super violent and not that I'm like oh violence because you know I uh, I'm a yeller but um, yeah I feel like Stardew Valley would just be like a thing where I can just like build my little community right yeah it's just nice you now, can like you can spend the day like baking bread if you want oh my see that's cute you yeah, know I speaking of I got a uh, duck you do this is kind of weird but like um, Courtney on our chat. Her soda bread just finished. It's all done. Great. I want to. She's living Stardew Valley. She yeah. is living Stardew Valley. She's she's yeah. I what is soda like soda bread? Is that like a thicker bread? What is it? We're stumped. We're stumped. Um. So uh, so someone was like, it's kind of like The Sims, but eight bit and on Xbox. Yeah, it and sounds... probably on other things as well. How did you find it? Is this the only game that you play too? It's the, it's, I, I play a couple stupid little games on my phone, mm. you know, like little five minute wasters. Yeah. But this is the only game I play pretty much. Really? Okay. Yeah. I want to get yeah. into it. I'm wondering, I just don't have an Xbox. I'm wondering, you, they've got to have like at least an app on the phone. You can at least play something on the phone. I or on your computer. On my computer. Yeah. 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 Cause that's the thing. It's like when you watch all these gamers, like I always tell, um, like my sister's a gamer and she's on Twitch and, um, I'm like, man, I wish I had that skill set. you know, get on Twitch, <laughs> make a million <laughs> trillion dollars, me playing Stardew Valley in like a silk blouse and a brooch going, okay, I'm just going to make my <laughs> antique wines now. It's nice. Bringing my duck, Gregory. <laughs> Can you name your duck? <laughs> Yeah, and, and there's like a there's like I used to name my myself and my animals, but there's like, there's also a uh, like a random name generator, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. So like my duck is named like Frittata, which is like just oh. the perfect name for a duck. Just a beautiful little duck, quacks at me every morning. I I love yeah. what, I love the idea of you in Stardew Valley going. Come on, Frittata, time to go to the ancient wine <laughs> cellar. Frittata, please. Quack. <laughs> Quack. <laughs> Quack. 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 No, but I think that's great. And um, and you can Are play. Are seasons? Oh, that's yeah. a good question. Really? Yeah, there are four seasons. Yeah. Got to put yeah. up your Christmas lights. Yeah. So and you like have you to. You farm all spring and f to fall, but in the winter, you go mining and fishing, get a bunch of rods in the pods, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's incredible. Uh, can I tell you this? Uh, soda bread is a bread popular in Ireland that requires minimal kneading and no proving. Proofing, also yeah. no yeast. Yeah, proofing is rising, I believe. My mom it's right. so red, just mix yeah. it and cook it. Mix it and cook it. Oh, that's I'm from Courtney. Cook. Yeah. And uh, then Haley said, "Brick of bread is the mood of our time right now." <laughs> and then Courtney said, "Not a bread brick. You get rice from buttermilk." I'm learning so much. Um, so then, how do you? Can you build a family in Stardew? Because this is the thing that I loved about The Sims is like you can build the family. Um, yes. Go yeah. on dates. So like you, you kind of you meet people by giving them gifts, but they like some things and they don't like other things. So me and Emily were getting along great. I'd already built a room with a baby <laughs> bed and everything. I was already. I'm like, I'm family. getting Emily. Yeah, <laughs> we're starting. And a I, uh, yeah, and I made a chocolate cake, <gasps> and I gave it to her because I was like, who doesn't love chocolate cake? Exactly. And she was like, she I know. don't like this at all. <sighs> What's Emily's slit, problem? Slit her throat. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say? He said, did you slit did, her throat? Did you slit her throat? <laughs> Jason DeRoss. It's, game. it's video games, right? Flying that's, dirty. That's what we do. Different. You're... Stardew Valley, is, you're unable to slit people's throats. Stardew Valley is about evolve, community. Man. It's going to evolve. I'm going to be your neighbor, and you just watch the, the, the you... stuff I bring into the neighborhood. No, you stay out of Stardew Valley. This is I'm classic. I'm selling hubcaps from my garage. <laughs> this is what? classic. Dream life. This is this is Jason to a T. No, too. When I first started playing video games, <laughs> when I first started playing video games, I won't tell the story. Uh, but my question is, do you have in your dreams? Is this seeping into your dreams now? Stardew, you dream in eight bit. Yeah. 
He's like, no, I'm a, I'm a grown man with a family. I'm not really <laughs> dreaming in 8-bit, probably dreaming about the world ending. Um, but I know like how all encompassing these things can get. Like, when I first got an X, I will tell the story. When I first got an Xbox, uh, I started playing this game and uh, it bends time. You realize you're like, oh my God, the first time I played, I was like nine hours. I went by like, what the heck is this? I'm never right. doing this again. But then um, I was newly dating my now wife. Ooh. And it was the first time she spent the night at my house. She slept over and she slept over at my place. And uh, I woke up in the middle of the night screaming <laughs> with her in a headlock being like, ah, they're after me. And uh, <laughs> as hard as I could. And somehow she stayed with me. <laughs> What were you dreaming about? The Gears of War monsters were chasing me. So you put you put your now wife in a headlock? I had no idea. I was asleep. I was fully asleep. What I'm saying is I woke up. I woke up screaming at the top of my lungs. Right. And she was it was only like a half a second or whatever. I was like, ah, oh my god. <laughs> wow. I, I like that even then she went, okay, Jason. <laughs> I know Shayla just put and somehow they have a kid together so yeah. <laughs> she was like you know what it's not the worst it's not the worst <laughs> you don't know what the worst is I met this nice man you know who what? wanted to start a family but he gave me a chocolate cake oh my yeah, god that's, that's the, the worst I see. yeah this I guy his throat <laughs> <Yeah>. Jason <laughs> too broken much. So, um, uh -huh. would you find that? Uh, would you uh, recommend a Stardew Valley is an addictive game? Like, do we can? Is it one thing that we can just pop in for a half hour and pop out, or are you doing it and then all of a sudden you you lose like four hours? When I first played it, I would like lose more time, but now it's like you go, you play a day, and it saves at the end of every day. Oh, cool! So you can just, and a day is like twenty minutes, so you can just go have a little twenty minute or I love that. And it's like. You like you pick up the crops that are ready. Maybe you sell them. Go visit the wizard. Go convince the bear that you want to ride it. Yeah. Uh, do some mining. Maybe kill some demons. You know, Whoa. some eight-bit demons in the mine, and then you call it a day. Do you have a Japanese garden in the back? I think your your place could use a Japanese garden. Japanese garden. I have a mill. Whoa. Oh, a mill. Yeah, see, this this tracks for you, Baker, because I feel like <laughs> your <laughs> the robe is completely closed. Japanese. <laughs> I have a mill. Baker would have a mill. I feel like Baker would have like you right the wine, the mill. He's he's making food. He's being self sufficient. Jason's like getting everyone in a headlock and just building a gardens that aren't going to help him. <laughs> also, Courtney's banana bread has hit the oven, y'all. I, this whole chat, I'm I'm very much in. I love banana bread. <laughs> Me too. I bought some bananas. Uh, wait, would you like to make some more? What are you doing? Your taxes, Jason? What's, What's happening? Going on over there? I've kicked a wire and I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear us? <laughs> I might disappear for a. Jason, you're back. No, we can't. Now we can't hear you, Jay. End of days. <laughs> End you know, of finally, we can put Jay in his place. Absolutely. And he can't say nothing back. We've been waiting to do this. For those w listening to the podcast and they don't know, youtube.com slash Jason McGonagall to see this madness. We will expose Jason for everything that he is. <laughs> yeah, you throat slitting <laughs> potato lover. <laughs> oh, my God. We've lost him completely. <laughs> Oh my god. So oh Jenny Cerullo just wrote, he gone. <laughs> oh yeah, he gone. Wait, what's happening? Whoa. 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 Absolutely. Rob oh, Baker no. Rob Baker has usurped <laughs> Jason at the end of this podcast. <laughs> I think that it had Jason, to happen today. Turn down your mic. This is too much. Uh, it's just I haven't touched anything. <laughs> It sounds, it sounds terrible. Turn down your mic is the new close your mouth from Stacey McGonagall. To, to give context, Jason uh, sometimes just sits with his mouth open and I would tell him to close his mouth and now turn down your mic. When? This oh, is, great. You're back to normal. My memory doesn't work. Um, okay. Well, uh, 
Rob, we're um, near the end of the old podcast, so I'm going to put up a little screen with your Twitter and um, with the same name, um, or you have three uh, Bs for Instagram, no? Oh, this is uh, now Jason, sorry. Um, but we can find you. I'm going to put all your information down in the descriptor below. But where can people find you on the internet so they can follow your amazingness? Oh, this is this is really great. Uh, if you're if you're on, uh... <laughs> <laughs> are you seeing his screen? I don't know. Oh, it's Robbie Baker. Yeah. Just uh, R O B B I Baker, all one word, mm -hmm. at both uh, Twitter, on Twitter and on Instagram. So that'll be down below. So follow Rob. He's very funny. He's very smart. And I, I believe you're giving us some great content on the interwebs. And you're just the dearest friend of ours. And we just adore you mm -hmm. and love you so much. You have to come back yeah. because I feel like um, this is going to be happening for a while. So we would love for you. Yeah. Have you watched Tiger King? I I cannot believe I have not watched Tiger King yet. Okay. So it, people were making fun of people for liking it on Twitter, like saying how you're, you know, I'm like, whatever. I want to talk about it. So please watch Everybody it. Everybody likes it. I know. It's so great. And Baker, especially for you, I feel like you're like, it's such bizarre people and bizarre circumstances. You'll be obsessed. We're recapping yeah. it on Monday with Nigel. Yeah, so if you want to come on That's on Monday, amazing. we're going to do a massive recap. So if you want to come in and, and uh, do a big old uh, debrief, I would love to hear different people's perspectives on the whole madness that is that show. Oh, I would love that. to. I would love to. So, yeah. It's only what seven episodes long. You can get it in no problem. Yeah. I'm going to go watch it right now. Are you? The, you better still be wearing that robe on Monday when we called you. And oh, yeah. It hasn't come off. I burned the rest of my clothes. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> We'll all come in robe on Monday, and I highly suggest everyone in the chat on Monday, please uh, be in the chat in robe as well. But, um, yeah, so please follow Rob Baker, and we, again, will put all of his information in the descriptor, and play Stardew. I think I'm going to dip a toe. That sounds like the sweetest little treat. And, it's um, nice and calming. Jason, is there anything else you want to say before we hit? <laughs> it's, no, you can talk. We're just, we're just, <laughs> we're just ending it. It's always like a dribble out. <laughs> we're like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, again, if you're listening to this and you're like, what is happening? And uh, why was there a lot of movement I couldn't see? Well, we go streaming every day at 1230 Eastern Standard Time on YouTube.com slash Jason McGonigal. So please join us. And Jason, is there anything else you want to say before we leave? I can't wait to see you all again tomorrow. And thanks so much, <laughs> Rob, for coming on. This is so awesome yeah, Rob, to it was see so, you. It's so nice to like catch up with pals, and you're just so wonderful and lovely. Um, love you guys so much. Love you guys, too. So have a great day, everyone, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Oh, is it going to?